now we come to the cancer ascendant in the cancer ascendant we can see that the sattva moksha is very much in the ascendant what does this mean it doesn't mean all cancers are born liberated hardly some of the more famous politicians like indira gandhi were born under cancer ascendant so it doesn't mean everybody is a guru or a, you know some kind of a liberated person okay cancer in the ascendant what does it mean sattva and moksha the for what here is playing in the ascendant that means these people are always driven to seek connection with the heart through their life the for what connection with the heart is wanting to be answered by cancer ascendants through their life and their life path everything that goes on in all the others the ascendant wants to answer for itself <clears throat> so if the cancer ascendant is doing for example an engineer he wants to know what for what he is doing it that's the answer which is being sought here in the second house there is sattva and dharma playing out meaning the question being asked is at a very conceptual level sattva is a very conceptual level of thinking dharma is asking the questions the why and the how here so using their creative intelligence and education they will want to answer that question again for what am i doing it for their family cancer that's why is very connected with the family okay because they are making that direct heart connection over there the self and the family okay self or created family they are very attached to their family because of this in the house number 3 there is the virgonian energies that means there is tamas and artha means they would need to ground it with the help of their talents whatever they are acquiring as skills the skill sets they will use it to answer this question in their lives so the work they do has to do the what and the where work and routines for self will come from their seeking to constantly upgrade their talents and upgrade their sense of work and life okay in the house number 4 one of the kendra houses or the foundational houses the cancer ascendant has rajas and kama the who the need for fulfilling connection and have a companionship the rajas the moving energies this will constantly move in their life and the desire the moving sense of desire is libra so the who they answer the question in their home front in their hearts that's how they make the connection there therefore the their homes are filled with their expression of their desires whatever their true desires are they are very much involved in their fulfilling desire aspect in their house in their home in their land in their real estate they are very much attached to that because this libra stands here in the house of creativity and education house number 5 you have tamas and moksha that means their creativity their education their love and their desires are all a point of moksha for them the second point of moksha comes at house number 5 for the cancer ascendants okay so here because scorpio is very buried it's very deep it's very secretive sign and it wants to ground it asks the question for what the second time but here you have to find the core desires so their core desires will be found in educational path as in creative path as in they have to search and dig deep scorpio into their educational aspects and what they want to learn in life and how it answers that question for what as does it connect with my heart they cannot seem to study anything at all if they do not make that connection this is the cancer ascendant in house number 6 you have sattva and dharma so all their enemies they will tend to look at from a higher perspective the what the where the who they will investigate with these three questions who their enemies are what their work is in life seeking higher meaning and wisdom a cancer ascendant person will want to know why they are doing whatever they are doing 
this ties in again with this one they want to investigate deep and they want to come up with proper answers the what the where the who before they get involved in their daily routine their daily routine of work is filled with a very dharmic purpose okay because they are seeking higher meaning philosophical meaning and wisdom the sagittarius they are seeking in their house of work in the house of partnership spouse they are all about rajas and artha the how the what and the where so the the spouse and marriage and love and everything that is of aspects of the seventh house becomes work for them they think of it as a job as a career as a business it's a very contractual form of an arrangement they don't really connect much with the spouse because they are looking for always higher purposes of work in life so they didn't they really don't make a heart connection with their spouse it's just a job for them okay because capricorn is sitting here in the house of um instability or the other's wealth in life they have sattva and kama the for what but in the form of a desire fulfillment in earth and gains and connections so these people will tend to make social kind of approach towards their in law social kind of approach towards their others people other people's wealth they make gains and connections there in the house of uh, higher learning philosophy and wisdom they have tamas and moksha they have the liberation point when it comes to higher wisdom so if the why me question embracing and liberation from the ego where does one get liberation liberation only comes when ego is about to be lost so but that has to be grounded so they will benefit a lot if they focus on higher learning anything that is higher educational higher philosophy of life they are always fascinated by that because the tamas and moksha point is being answered here you can see the pattern here also see the house number 1 has moksha house number 5 has moksha house number 9 has moksha so these people are always seeking liberation in different fronts of their life they want to seek the answers this is very deep seated in them in the house of career you have rajas and dharma so it's a moving energy of asking the question why meaning the need to find path purpose and direction for the self very aries kind of energy there it's aries lands in their um 10th house so their career they would want to dominate they would want to find their self in their career aries is about domination in that respect they want to lead their leaders in this in the house of um, social communication social media these days community networks they have rajas and artha the taurus comes in their 11th house so they are asking the question here the how recognizing resources and abilities how do i get become popular how do i make these things work what resources do i have to achieve popularity in the social network and they will constantly go through that it is rajasic energy and they are seeking means to accomplish that they will use people means resources talents everything that is gained here in this artha they will use over here in later in life <coughs> in the 12th house of spirituality they have rajas and kama so this is a funny place for this cancer ascendants because kama and rajas both are linked to finding desires the what discovery of skills desires and communication that's sitting in their house of spirituality so spirituality for them really translates to a very grounded form of desire of discovering who they are in terms of communication in terms of their desires so they are more desirous and more of the pet pleasures and seeking skills when it comes to spirituality okay this is the cancer ascendant